about the bodies of water, the effect and climate and weather. So before we're going to delve into its effect, I will give a brief introduction first about the bodies of water. So what is the bodies of water? Water bodies is any collection of water. It's either fresh water or salt water. So water is one of the most important natural resources on the earth. Three fourth of the earth's uh, surface is covered with water. So these various water bodies is different sizes, right? From the huge one like oceans and seas to the small one like ponds. So all of these um, water bodies is um, carry the utmost importance, uh, the utmost important life on the earth, and thus it affects our climate and weather. Great lakes modify our local weather and climate. Lake waters gain heat during summer and release heat during polar months. So by absorbing, storing, and moving water and heat, so it then contributes to the abnormal changes of our climate and weather. Also, the ocean is part of the biggest um, water bodies which cover at least 70% of our Earth's surface. So, the ocean is a significant influence in our weather and climate. So, this great reservoir continuously exchanges heat, moisture, and carbon with the atmosphere, driving our weather patterns and exchanging or influencing the slow and subtle changes in our climate. The ocean influences climate by observing solar radiation and releasing heat needed to drive the atmospheric circulation. So by releasing aerosols that influence cloud cover by emitting most of the water that falls on the rain and that falls on the land as a rain, by observing carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and storing years and million years, climate is influenced by storage of heat and carbon dioxide in the ocean, So, which depends on both physical and biological processes. Climate is affected by both bi biological and physical processes of the ocean. Both of the ocean and the atmosphere transport roughly equal amounts of heat from Earth's equatorial regions, which is intensely heated by the sun towards the icy poles, which receive relatively a little solar radiation. So keep in mind, folks, that ocean is the thermal energy or thermal, thermal memory of this uh, climate system. So I hope guys you gained knowledge in this video and hope you like it, share, bye!